What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to resize your iOS simulator in Xcode. Now, the reasons you may want to do this is you might have a small screen and you can't see the whole simulator properly because it's going over the edges of the screen or it's been had to be resized and it's just not right. So, what you need to do first is start up Xcode and create a new project. Now, this could be any one of these but I'm just going to be using single view application and I'm going to be calling this resize and I'll create it so up here you can see that we're using the iPhone Retina 3.5 inch which will be the iPhone 4s and 4 so if we just start up the simulator Now you can see that it's very small on my screen. So if I was to make this bigger, you'd want to go to Window up here. So make sure your iOS simulator is selected and it'll say iOS simulator up the top here and you can go to Window, Scale and at the moment it's on 50%. So I can change this to 75% and I can change it to 100% and 100% is quite nice because it has the bezel of an iPhone 4 and 4S and it looks just sort of gives you the whole feel of the iPhone uh, when you're using it as a simulator and what you can also do is when you go to scale you can see next to these numbers it says the hotkeys so command 1 is 100% command 2 is 75% and command 3 is 50% so if, if we just go to the simulator now we can do command 1 which is already on command 2 command 3 and so forth so now if we try this with the iPhone uh, retina 4 inch which will be the iPhone 5 we can go to uh, go and start up the simulator and we can do the same window scale 75 percent window scale 50 percent and command one back to 100% and so forth. And now if we just go to the iPad and start up the simulator. You'll see that you have to sort of scroll around on your app and it's, it's, it's not ideal. So what you can do is go to window, scale 100%, 75% and 50%. I think for the iPad, 50% is probably the most useful uh, scale to use on a MacBook 13 inch because you can see the whole thing. One, really not ideal. Two, maybe you can get away with it, but you still can't see the bottom and it's sort of blocked out by the nav bar and also the size of the screen sort of limits it so I think if I was to use the simulator the iPad simulator I'd use the one on 50% because I can see the whole thing the whole app so thanks for watching I hope this helped